Creo Parametric 11.0 introduced tables in model-based definition. And like other 3D annotations, those tables can support semantic references. Here I have an assembly. Let me go to my assemble combination state. And you can see that I have a flat to screen table here with torques for the various different fasteners. When you are defining semantic references, those semantic references can be to the entire table or to a cell in the table. Let's go about adding some semantic references for the M5 fasteners. I will left click on the cell. That will open up a mini toolbar. In the mini toolbar's lower left hand corner is a button for selecting your semantic references. So I will click on that and I get a warning that this requires unexploding the assembly. I will click the confirm button. And so for my references, you can pick individual surfaces. If you go to the surface sets tab, you have the details button, which can help you construct your references. I will click on the add button in here and we can select an anchor surface like this one and then grab surfaces of all bodies. And then let me hit the add button again. And so for my next set, let me rotate around and find the other M5 fastener on the other side. That's good. Let's click the OK button. And so I've got both of those component surfaces added as my semantic references. Let's click OK out of here. And let's also do it for the M6 fasteners. I will click on this cell. And instead of doing it from the mini toolbar, you can also go to the table tab for the table. Here we have the references button. It opens up the same dialog box. So I can go to surface sets, details, add, and then grab a surface and surfaces of all bodies, add, grab a surface and hit the add button and grab one more surface over here and click OK and OK. And now I have my different semantic references added in here. And these semantic references support semantic query. For example, if I go to the annotate tab over here, we have semantic query. And if I select a table cell, it's going to highlight its appropriate references. Okay, let's take a look at one more example where we are going to add some semantic references to an entire table. Let me go to a, another part that I have. And here is a part that was created with the composites module. I want to create a new combination state. I will click on the little plus sign down at the bottom of the screen. Then I can right click on the state and choose rename. I'm going to put my layup table in here. In the composites module in Creo Parametric, or excuse me, that was introduced in Creo Parametric 10.0, you can export your layup as a CSV file. I have already done that for this model. Let's create a table for that. I will go to the annotate tab and let's choose flat to screen. And then I will create a table from file. Let me change the type to CSV, like you can export from the composites module. I'll go to my working directory and here it is. Let me double click on it and then place it right here. So here are my layups for this particular model. And I want to have this table associated with the original layup surface just to make it easier to pick. I'm going to grab the insert here bar and drag it up above the composite. Now I can select the table. Here I have a cell and then from the mini toolbar, there is a drop down list of icons that help facilitate selecting the table or a column or a row. I will select the entire table and then I can use the right mouse button to get back to my mini toolbar. And this is the icon for the references. And so for the references, let me go to the surface sets tab. Let me see if I can query to the entire layup surface and then pick it. 
yes, I have the quilt surface. So I will click the OK button. And so that way we have the semantic reference for this particular table. And instead of using the semantic query command from the annotate tab, you can also select your table. Let me use the select table command and then right mouse click and hold. And this icon over here is for semantic query. So there you can see the reference surface or reference quilt highlighted in the model. That is good. Let me close out of semantic query. And so that is how you can add semantic references to tables or cells in tables for model-based definition.